So I want to start with a story. I want to tell you about a patient named Bill. He came to my office with a long history of depression and periods of anxiety that really were induced by life events. Recently, his anxiety and depression had worsened. He'd suffered from insomnia, which he had never had problems with before. He was starting to have cognitive issues that were affecting his abilities at work. And he was having a feeling of doom and so social withdrawal that was really affecting his time with his family. That sounds pretty familiar, right? We've all probably heard this story or this scenario. Well, so what's interesting is, according to the World Health Organization, 350 million people suffer from depression. That's over 5% of the world's population. And the National Institutes of Mental Health estimates that over 16 million Americans suffer from at least one depressive episode back in 2012. So what's going on? It can't be a deficiency of an SSRI. So let me go back to Bill. His, his symptoms had worsened over the last six months to the extent that he felt like he had no other options for improvement. These symptoms had gotten worse also after he saw his doctor and started receiving testosterone therapy and optimizing his omega-3s, and he was prescribed a methylated B vitamin in a very high dose, methylated folate, after his doctor had found that he was homozygous for the MTHFR mutation.